Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This video was filmed on July 13th, and on this outing, I'm specifically targeting porgies using a chum pot. So if you guys really want to get into some quick action in your fishing, in your uh, fishing for porgies, trust me, use a chum pot, and you will not be disappointed. I've used a chum pot in previous trips just to see if it would work for experimental purposes, and let me tell you, it was lights out porgy action. So I decided to uh, show you guys how I fish with a chum pot from uh, this bulkhead that I'm fishing off of. But if you guys are fishing from shore, the same principles apply. It will work. And attached to this chum pot, I have about 20 to 30 feet of power cord. And you really don't have to throw it out that far. Maybe like 10 to 20 feet is, is more than enough. And you'll see like... I'm, I maybe had chum pot down for like three minutes before I did my first cast, and yeah, and I was hooked up in seconds. So in case you guys are wondering, I'm using, the rig that I'm using is a, a high-low rig that I tied myself. Um, I'm using, uh, what are they, size one hooks? And the bait of choice that I'm using is sandworms. You can also use clam if you want to. I've used shrimp before and uh, squid also. But in my opinion, sandworms work the best. So you'll see right here. That um, this is my first cast with the jump pot, and you'll see. And in case you guys are wondering, that is a three ounce sinker that I'm using. A two ounce will be fine, also. And you see, I'm I'm hooked up. I don't know how many seconds that was, but that was pretty quick. As opposed to, you know, the traditional way you, you rig up, you put your bait on, you cast out, and you have to wait maybe 5, 10, I don't know, 15 minutes to get a porgy. But with the chum pot, it's a fraction of the time. So if you're going porgy fishing and you're trying to get a quick limit or, you know, a good amount of porgies in a short amount of time, the chum pot is the way to go for sure. So here's another clip of, you know, showing you guys the exact amount of time it takes when that chump pot is down before I get a, before I get a bite. And I'm on again. So clearly the chum pot is the way to go, for me anyway. So if you guys have any questions about the rigging that I use, or just fishing in general, just please let me know in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. So after about 14 porgies, I was pretty much done porgy fishing, and I wanted to go for some bluefish. So coming up as an edit of the remainder of this outing, and also that bluefish action. So I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you soon.